Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I wanted to come on today and share a dream that I had with you early this morning at 4.23 a.m. The Lord has given me permission to share this dream with you, and I would like to share it with you today. In this dream, I and many people and friends that I have known and people I have lost um, contact with, I saw people from my past, and if this makes any sense, I saw people I haven't seen in a very long time, and I saw people that I see every day in my routines, going to the store, and it was strange, but it's like I saw every single person I've ever met in my entire life. I saw people from um, long ago, and I saw people I've lost contact with, and um, it was a lot of people. We were all at a resort. This resort was huge. It was massive. It was big. And there was a huge carnival at this resort. Um, there were kids playing. There was food, loud music, games. Um, it was just a lot of people. It was a normal day like any other day. And I saw two of my dogs in my dream. And I saw them running around the resort. And my smallest chihuahua was swimming in the pool with some man and I panicked because I didn't I didn't think she could swim. I was trying to get her really quickly because I don't have a pool at my house. And plus, she's really small. She's a teacup chihuahua. When I raced over to the pool and picked her up, she seemed okay. She seemed calm and she wasn't frightened. She wasn't scared. And when I had her in my arms, I put her back down and suddenly we all heard a massive boom. It was almost like a split second where everybody just panicked and everybody started to run and um, I went to turn around to run away. And the first thing I thought of was, where are my dogs? I have to go back and get my dogs. We were able to find an old construction truck. And if you have ever seen a painter's truck with ladders and there's paint splattered on the back of the bed of the truck with construction equipment like hammers and a toolbox and ladders and stuff like that. And we were able to find this truck. Only about a handful of people jumped on this truck immediately. And I was trying to get on this truck. I wasn't scared. I just knew that I had to get I had to get away because if I turned around to go back to get my dogs, there was no way that I was going to be able to get them because there was no nowhere to run. There was no pathway. Everybody was running and there was no way to get through. The people who jumped on this truck were people from my past, like I said, and some I met along the way of my life. I don't know who was driving the car, but uh, they seemed to have waited for me. And as I was running, I was hurling toward the truck. Um, I literally had to jump and um, over people to get on this truck. I was able to place my hand upon the ladder that was hanging from the bed of this truck. And my feet were on the back bumper and we drove away. So um, I knew that I left my dogs behind, but very loudly in my mind, I heard a soft authoritative voice speak to me. It was God. And he told me the dogs would be in heaven and not to worry. The dogs are going to heaven. Do not worry. As we drove off, the road we were driving on seemed to part ways so that we could drive through it. It was almost as if something that w was pushing these people out of the way so we were able to drive away. Then I heard a loud speaker from an intercom say, there is an asteroid that is about to hit the earth. Seek shelter immediately. And this message was repeated in my dream over like about five times. And I heard people on this truck saying, yeah, right, this is a joke, this isn't real. Then this girl on the truck who was right beside me, and I know I've seen her in uh, my life because I I see her almost every day because when I go to the grocery store, she's somebody who works at the grocery store and she knows me very well. She said with full conviction, this is not a joke. This asteroid really is coming. As I woke up from this dream this morning, God wanted me to immediately immediately write this down. I went back to sleep after writing this down, and when I woke up this morning, the Lord spoke to me very clearly and placed these following words in my spirit, and he wanted me to share them with you. Today is the day for salvation. Today they need to lay their troubles at my feet. My children need me, but they must ask me into their hearts. You must let them know, Jeremy. You must warn them. 
If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, I urge you today to evaluate your circumstances and come to the feet of Jesus. Our time is ticking and the events that are coming, many will not survive. Many will die from fright of what they will see. The things that are coming will seem unreal and will shake people to the core. People take heed with this message. The Lord also emphasized on the Numbers 4.23. This is when I woke up and I immediately wrote this down. Thank you so much for listening to this today. Um, the Lord has led me um, to many scriptures with this dream that I will place in the video description in the box below. Um, I love all of you guys. Stay blessed, stay praying, and uh, the Lord is coming any moment. Thank you.